I think it's here, guys. Got an unboxing today. Who knows what this is? I know one of you do for sure. Ooh. I'm not even gonna do much of an intro. I'm just gonna open this right up. Oh, it's all sticky in there. Ooh. See a handle. See a brake handle. Oh, <laughs> just scrunched up paper. steel in the wood yard this is an 021 it has a O or a 250 case on it but it is an 021 there's the original case on it 021 Oof. so this will be nice now I can uh, run both my saws at the not at the same time but when one of them I've started to have it on for a while I can turn that one off and use this one for a little bit. It's going to be perfect. It's always good to have two saws. I mean, I mean, technically I have three saws, but I mean, that's just a little electric chainsaw. I mean, that's, I just use that for marking the logs. This one is a cutter for sure. This is nice. The chain break on the 272, you have to like pull really hard to get it back. But this one is, it's nice. I'll just show you an up close here. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's all gassy and oily. That's good though. Well, I'm gonna go put the bar on this, and uh, I have I don't have really any logs to test it on, so I just got a little tiny piece, and we're gonna test it on that. You'll see. So let's go get the bar on. All right, there we go. It's on. Let's uh, get some fuel in there and we'll test it out on some cottonwood. Ah. The, uh, so the bar is 18 inches and the chain is brand new i haven't even filed it or anything so it's gonna probably cut a little slower than if you had a fresh hand file in there but let's see how it goes get that touched up before I do anything else with it but you can tell the difference between a good hand file and a brand new chain because on Aaron's channel that thing was ripping uh, if you want to check his channel out it will be in the description so make sure you go check his channel out be sure to very awesome chainsaw videos coming up here a couple videos we'll be cutting some wood with a sharp chain and you will see how fast it'll cut because it'll cut because i've seen it all right guys last part of the video we're doing a q a so i'm gonna read some questions off here and stack wood at the same time all right first question from 
Karen Affermel. How does the mulberry wood compare in burning heat and time to burn with other wood? Well, I don't really know too much about mulberry because, well, this is my first time getting it, splitting it, processing it. But I do know that it doesn't burn as hot as oak and it burns hotter than, uh, what's the wood called? Brain fart. Box elder burns hotter than box elder and I know some people use it to smoke with that it does have a very interesting smell I've said it in past videos it's pretty cool life in the 906 what is your face cord goal for this summer well I haven't really put any goals ahead of me for uh, how much fire would I want to get I just kind of just get as much as I can <laughs> but I would I kind of go by um, not how many face cords I get, but like how far the stacks move, um, stacking them along the fence line kind of. And I kind of want to get it stacked all the way over to, I'll run over to it. So like this pine tree right here, that's how far I want to get. So I guess about to there is 20 face cords maybe. It's a lot of wood, but I'm gonna be moving faster since I now have a splitter. I have my license, got my license by the way, very nice. And I've been renting that trailer. So gonna be going really fast. All right, Nat JB, what are your goals and size of operations? So in one year, five years and 10 years, where do you see yourself? your own trailer, bigger splitters, a dedicated yard rather than parents' backyard. So um, for now, I want to stay with the splitter for the backyard. That works awesome. Would love to have my own trailer so I don't need to keep borrowing it from someone. But long term, when I have my own house, preferably a homestead with a lot of land, Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be stacking. <laughs> I would love to have a processor. I'm just gonna work my way up to it. Um, if I get enough income from it, I could turn it into my number one job. But until then, I will probably work for a tree service. That is one of my goals, work for a tree service. That'll be fun. Nat JB, how much room do you actually have in your backyard for firewood? Well, I'll show you right now on a screen. So there you'll see the area that I already have my wood. And then that is going down towards the shed. I'll fill that area up to the grass line. Then once I get to there, I'm going to start in between this pine tree and that pine tree and back towards my other stacks and then when it, once that is all filled up then i'm just going along this fence line and up until the grass line all the way down to that ash tree down at the back there but i don't think that we're gonna get that far but if needed there's space for that i'll probably sell by the time i get anywhere near there uh, all of the wood that is in the back there will already be dry and sold and I'll start filling up that space again but yeah it's it's a great backyard for firewood minus the pine trees and getting pine needles all in the wood stack but it works All right, here's a couple questions from Sebastian Van Dyke, who was actually the one who suggested to do a video on a Q&A. Thanks, Sebastian, here we are. So, how did you get interested in firewood? It's just always been in me. I have always loved being outside and working hard. Parents called me the worker bee when I was little, and I still am today. How do you balance school life and the woodyard? Good question. So, gotta have really good 
time management. Um, usually I will do the smart choice, get all the homework done first, and then use whatever time I have left over for firewood, but school's out right now, so I'm soaking it all in and getting her done. All right, wheelbarrow's empty, and this video is about done. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.